Good morning. I'm Philip Bradley. I'm the head of the Swiss International School here in Qatar. And I'd like to welcome you to our school today and take our virtual tour. On any school tour, it's really important you get a feel for who we are, what we believe in, and the sort of culture that we promote as an organization. Um, for us, there are multiple ways that we think we're special and a good fit for people. Uh, and I think one of the most important things is the, what we call our culture of care and the way we look after the individual child. It's important the school doesn't imagine that it's a one-size-fits-all approach, and that's part of the strength of the IB program. It allows kids to choose multiple paths through the school, and there are multiple ways of being successful as a young person, and that's critical that you don't limit what success looks like as a school. So today, uh, you'll get to look at some of our facilities, and you'll hear a little bit about our programs. And as I say, the most important thing is, I think, that you get to feel a little bit about our personality, our culture, and what makes us special. So thank you for being here. From the age of three to 11 years of age, we implement the International Baccalaureate Primary Years Programme. This is a curriculum that is built around skills, knowledge and attitudes, but it's independent by a conceptual understanding. And teaching through a conceptual lens broadens and deepens the child's learning. We teach all of these traditional subjects, but they are integrated into units of inquiry, where children are encouraged to explore, experiment, discover and ask questions. We want our children to be independent and responsible learners. So they learn how to collaborate. They learn how to solve big picture problems. They learn how to work together to create solutions, to be creative and to think analytically. Our learning environment is safe and secure and children are encouraged to take risks and make mistakes and learn by those mistakes. We know that to be an international citizen, to be successful in the world, they need to be able to learn constantly. And so we want them to love learning. So we make our learning fun as well as challenging so that they continue to learn into adulthood. In grades 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10, all of our students follow the MYP programme, which is the Middle Years programme, uh, which is a framework developed by the, um, uh, by the IB and it is an internationally recognised framework. It's also very good preparation for the IB diploma, which students enter in grades 11 and 12 to Penalty University. So the MYP framework provides the students with a really broad and really balanced curriculum during the five years uh, from grade 6 to grade 10. All of our students uh, in grades 6 to 10 follow three languages, so they will study French, uh, English and Arabic and next year we are also introducing German. Uh, we already have a German mother tongue programme and we'll be offering German for uh, beginners as well. So students in grades 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 uh, work towards the MYP certificate uh, which is awarded at the end of grade 10 and it involves sitting online examinations and producing portfolios of work as well as working on a personal project uh, which is when students pick a topic of their choice and work on the project for an extended period of time. At the heart of the MYP, uh, same as the other two programmes, is the IB Learner Profile and the IB Approaches to Learning. So the focus is very much on teaching students the skills that they will need to succeed later on, um, as well as making sure that there is the uh, content that they need to know for the new exams. So for grades 11 and 12, we offer a diploma programme, which is the most recognised uh, pre-university programme internationally, so it's very well recognised by universities around the world. And that's the only programme we offer here. We don't offer anything else, so we make sure that we do that one very well. We have lots of different subjects in April, um, and students have to take six different subjects in six different categories. Uh, you can find more information on our website. So we follow the IB curriculum, we are an IB continuum school, which means that we offer three programs from uh, three years old all the way to 18. The primary years program, PYP, 
the Middle East program, MYP, and the Diploma program, DP. So it's an international curriculum, and it's basically, the point of it is that if students travel around the world, they will be able to continue with their studies in a continuous way. It was born in Geneva, um, and it was designed specifically for the children of diplomats um, who were traveling all the time and changing curriculum all the time. The beauty of the IB is that it's a very welcoming curriculum in the sense that we can integrate it from any other curriculum. Uh, there will be some minor changes, but it's nothing that is not catered for because that's the whole point of the IB. And similarly, if you go back into your own national curriculum later on, uh, it should not be a problem at all to reintegrate uh, because that's the way the IB was designed, is to be a transition curriculum, but also if students travel the world, they may also want to stay with the IB for the whole time. So probably one of the most special things about CISC is languages. Um, although we are, our main language of instruction is English, so it's not completely a bilingual school, but it's a multilingual school. So students will learn most of their subjects in English. However, every student in CISC does French from three years old all the way to grade 10 at the least. Uh, basically, in the first two years in pre-K, in every class there is a, a, a teacher who speaks English, there is an assistant who speaks French, and therefore every time the teacher teaches a new set of words, uh, for example, counting or animals, the French assistant will uh, do the same thing in French. So little by little, they build their vocabulary. And of course, if the students already speak French, they have someone in the classroom to speak French with. Uh, after that, in primary school, we have a French lesson every single day with a French teacher. So students have French every day. And that's the main difference with a lot of schools, is that instead of doing French or languages once or twice a week, which is not quite enough, we do it every day. Um, there are lots of levels catered for, so whether a child comes in at any age with no French at all, or whether they are completely fluent in French, we have all, all the levels that cater for every single child's um, ability, so it's not a problem at all. We often get that question. Um, in terms of Arabic and German, we also offer Arabic and German, so of course for Arabic speaking students who speak Arabic at home, especially for Qatari students, we follow the ministry requirements and they have four lessons of Arabic uh, per week from grade one as per um, ministry requirements. Uh, students who are not native Arabic speakers can choose between Arabic or German. We offer German at two levels. First, we offer native uh, German classes, so for students who already speak German at home, who are perfectly fluent, and we offer beginner German classes as well, and these go from grade one all the way to grade 10. So our teachers are mainly international teachers, which means they've been teaching in international schools in different countries around the world. Very few teachers come to us directly from their own country, so they are experienced international teachers, which is important because they understand how to teach students who have multiple languages and different cultures, and they understand the respect of local culture as well. All our teachers are fluent in English. Um, they not, are not all um, native speakers, so some have a slight accent like myself, but uh, they are fluent in English. We, it's a very important criterion when we higher people. So we have a very international student body and it's very important to us because we think that's what makes an international school. The curriculum, the teachers, but actually the most important part is who the students are. So we have students coming from 70 different nationalities and they are very widespread, which means there is no single nationality that has a big uh, group here. Um, we have a lot of uh, Europeans and Canadians and Americans and we have a bit of everything um, and we are careful never to let one nationality take over because we don't want to be a 
British school or an American school or a French school or a Qatari school, we want to be an international school and that's, we make a big effort towards that with the hiring of our teachers but also with the admissions of our students. Welcome to Swiss International School in Qatar. Good morning, my name is Julia and I take you on a school tour today. At Swiss International School, we love reading. Come inside the primary library. We have books in English, in French, in Arabic, in German, in Spanish and in Portuguese. primary classrooms. Our gym, where students of all grades enjoy their physical workouts. One of my favorite rooms is our music room. to send food from home or get lunch from the cafeteria for their children. We changed location. We are now at the entrance of the West Building, which gives very easy access to our early years students. Come with me. Welcome to one of our early years classrooms where your children will enjoy their first years of learning here at Swiss International School. Whenever our youngest students want to let some energy out on our shaded playground, they're always assisted by an adult. At Swiss International School, we specialize in languages, where English is the medium of instruction. Now we are in an NYP English classroom. We are here in the library of our secondary school, where MYP and DP students can nurture their love for reading. I hope you enjoyed this very quick tour with us. Admissions remains open, you can apply online. We look forward to hear from you. Thank you very much and stay safe everyone.